Topic Spoilage of Food For students of class 5 Subtopics Wastage of Food Spoilage of Food Definition Perishable Food and Non-Perishable Food An Activity Signs of Spoilage Activity Factors Causing Spoilage of Food Take what you need, eat what you take our elders and parents have been telling us continuously to take as much we want to eat in a plate. Annam Param Brahma Sarupam means that food is equal to Almighty as told by our great ancient ancestors. But are we giving same amount of respect? Honestly, most of us do not. Result? Millions of our fellow beings are dying in hunger when millions of tons of food is being thrown away, wasted, discarded for no good reason most of the times. In brief, don't waste food, give it to others because Annam Param Brahma Sarova. Food spoilage means the original nutritional value, texture, flavor of the food are damaged. The food becomes harmful to people and unsuitable to eat. Loss of one or more normal characteristics in food is considered due to spoilage. Do you waste food? Think about it. Yes, sometimes no. If your answer is yes and sometimes you need to think. Wastage of food leads to spoilage of food. When you come back from a grocery store, then where do you keep, I'm going to ask you a few things, fruits and vegetables. Yes, think about it. We keep fruits and vegetables in the lower basket or lower shelf of the refrigerator. Milk. Yes, where do we keep our milk packets? We keep our milk packets in the upper compartment or the freezer of the refrigerator. Next is biscuits and pulses. Where do we keep them? We keep them in airtight jars or containers like this. They can be of plastic or metal. Onions and potatoes. Where do we keep them? We keep onions and potatoes in baskets, shelves like this, outside in the kitchen or near the kitchen. Sugar and salt. Yes, we keep sugar and salt in these plastic or metal containers and most of the containers are airtight. Curd. Do you keep curd outside? No, it gets sore. So we keep curd in the refrigerator. Yes? Now, the next thing is chicken and fish, the non-veg food. We keep chicken and fish in the uppermost compartment that is the freezer. Activity 1. Now this colorful basket you see here is my shopping basket. I had to buy some grocery items for my own home. So I have purchased few things that you can see in the Baskets, some fruits, vegetables. Let's see, I've divided them into two parts. On my left, the food items to be kept in fridge are there. On my right, the food items which can be kept outside. So this is my right side. You can see salt, noodles, biscuits, pulses, coffee, some turmeric, some spices. You can see here. On the left hand side, I had kept mangoes, a packet of milk and some green vegetables to be kept in refrigerator.
perishable food and non perishable food let's see okay perishable foods are those that spoil the most quickly and require refrigeration the left side non perishable foods on the other hand are those that will take a very very long time to spoil the right side now signs of spoilage of food there are four visible signs one is visual you see and you can find out that the food is spoiled smell the food will give a unpleasant or a foul smell the texture of the food usually becomes soft and the taste that it doesn't taste like the same the taste gets also spoiled now you see a fresh tomato on the left upper corner and on the right side you see a spoiled tomato this is a loaf of bread you can see some greenish and whitish spots on this what is this this is the growth of fungus on the bread when we see it under a microscope the the fungus rhizopus or the black bread mold looks somewhat like this see the greenish spots now activity 2 see i'll be showing two fruits first is tomato see this is a fresh tomato you can see now this is the same piece after 4 days you see the change in the texture the change in the size it has shrunkled you can see the white cottony growth and see how soft it has become when i am squeezing it see a liquid is coming out of it this is a fresh capsicum and the same capsicum now you will see after 4 days see what has happened to it the texture the color everything has changed it has also become soft from many places like this it has become so soft now causes of spoilage of food the many causes the first important cause is microorganisms bacteria yeast and molds are the major cause of food spoilage they produce various enzymes that decompose the various constituents of food molds are the major cause of spoilage of foods which reduce water activity dry cereals and cereal product bacteria spoil foods with relatively high water activity such as milk and products water is a remarkable compound life as we know it is totally dependent on the presence of water in its liquid state many microorganisms can survive but not grow when their cytoplasm that is inside the cell has become completely dry now temperature microbial growth can occur over a temperature range from about 8 degrees celsius up to 100 degrees celsius at atmospheric pressure each organism exhibits minimum optimum and maximum temperature at which growth can occur next causes enzymes enzymes are chemicals produced by all living things they help speed up or slow down chemical reactions act as transports for foods and are a normal constituent of foods for instance as a banana matures the color changes from green to yellow to brown to black the change is caused by the enzymes in the banana the ripening then softening of other fruits such as apples peaches and tomatoes is another example of enzymatic action action of enzyme enzymes cause food to ripen then become overripe and eventually decay starch changes to sugar color changes and texture softens browning when certain foods are cut and the surface is exposed to air you have seen apples like this enzymatic rotting enzymes in fish cause deterioration even at low temperatures now the third cause is insects and rodents 
Insects, rodents, birds. Foods are mechanically damaged by insects, rodents, birds, etc. Example, the holes or surface of tomatoes, cucumber, brinjal indicate that they are harboring larvae of insects. You can see a mouse here spoiling the sack of grains. Now, let's revise causes of spoilage of food, microorganisms, enzymes, insects and rodents. Thank you for watching. Hope you have understood well.